The Indie Braid. Here we're going to work with some really fun fishtail braids and work it into a really elegant look. We're going to be able to switch it up and make two different looks out of the look so you can choose your own personalization. To prepare Allie's hair, we worked with Awakened Thickening Cream on the ends to give her some more thickness with those saw palmetto fibers. And then we also worked with Taffy Whip and then set her hair the way that we wanted that hair to move. So to begin, we're gonna come in with Push Powder. And this is going to create, again, a great network of fibers within the hair. And I'm just going to tap, tap and push really creating some great volume wherever I lay down the push powder because I really want to grab some great texture and volume in Allie's hair. We'll go ahead and continue to tap, tap, and push. Tap, tap, and push right all the way through the base. The next thing I'm going to pick up is my molding clay here. This is the product I'm going to choose to work with the very most. The guar is going to give me a lot of great texture and hold and also typically I would work with shine wax on my hands to really diffuse frizz in the hair. The uh, shift molding clay is going to give me great texture and tackiness so they can really create that textured look. We're going to begin by parting the hair in an arced motion coming right from the back of the ears on the top and just lightly taking my fingers and working up in an arced motion right to the top of the rear ridge here. I'm going to very gently separate this out and clip this away. And you'll notice here that I'm going to almost never pick up a comb. I want to make sure that I keep the texture within the hair at all times. So here I'll pick up my molding clay. With the back of my thumb, I'm just going to lift out a small amount. And the basu oil allows me to really melt and penetrate right into the hair. We're going to go ahead and scoop up the hair, raking it right into a side ponytail. And we'll secure the ponytail with an elastic. Very gently. Again, I don't want to disturb the curl at all. I'm going to leave as much texture as possible. And with the molding clay on my hands, I'm going to go ahead and begin our fishtail. And to begin the, fi the fishtail, we're going to go ahead and separate that hair into two sections. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one small piece from the right side and we'll cross it right over into the middle on the left. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a section from the left side and cross it over to my right section. So we have two sections we're working with at all times. Picking up a small section off of the outside crossing it over into the middle. Now I want to work with this braid fairly loosely. I don't want it to be too tight, again, because I want to leave that texture in the hair. I'm going to come with a small amount on that left side and cross over the center. Small amount out of the right side, cross over into the center. Small amount on the left side, cross over the center onto the other side. And you can start to see here that little herringbone shape that was referred to as the fishtail. So we're going to continue this braid all the way until we get to the end and we'll secure it with an elastic. You can see here how by crossing that over to the other side and working with my molding clay, I'm giving that really nice texture into the hair and allowing that crossing motion where that herringbone look is really coming into place. So we'll continue here, just crossing over from one side to the other, and continuing right down to the very end. So here we're just finishing up our first fishtail braid, again working with the molding clay to really help me keep texture within the hair. And we're going to go ahead and secure the end with an elastic. 
The next step will be to open up the fishtail a bit by pulling the hair out. I'm going to show you that. Working again with my molding clay. Working with that nicely on right on my fingertips because this is going to be a really gentle touch that we're going to use here. We're going to hold the braid securely and just start to pull and to piece out the braid so that it starts to add more texture to the hair and also to give more thickness and depth to the braid just by gently pulling that out and opening it up creates a really beautiful look. My next step here is to start working on my front section. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to decide where our front fringe is going to be. So right here as you can see I've gone ahead and I've already put in a right side part. I'm going to come in about an inch and a half back and then I'm going to scoop it right down to the back of her left ear. And we'll go ahead and we'll clip that right out of the way. My next section will be to divide the back section into two pieces. So we're going to go ahead from the part line and we're going to just take my fingers real gently so they don't disturb the texture. We're going to go right back straight and divide that into two pieces. We'll go ahead and we'll clip this second section out of the way. And we'll begin with our fishtail from the back. Now as you can see where we've brought this up from the scalp and really lifted it with the push powder, I want to make sure that I leave that texture loose. So I'm just going to use my fingers really gently to rake it right into place. And then from the back, we'll go ahead and separate this into two sections. Now mind, keep in mind where I'm going to be placing this and it's going to be crossing over this elastic here. So I want to make sure that I'm directing it the way I want it to go. So I've divided this into two sections. I'm going to come in on the outside and pick up that small piece on the right side and cross it over the center to my left section. It now becomes part of that left side. So the next thing I'm going to do is come up on my left side, take a small section, cross it over onto my right. So now it's part of my right side section. Again, we're going to pick up a small piece here and we're going to cross it over the middle onto my left hand side. Left side picking up a small section crossing it over to my right side. Pick up a small section on my right hand side, pick it up and move it over to the left. Now the whole time I'm working, I'm going to make sure that I'm not causing too much tension on the hair. I want to leave that nice texture and lift at the scalp. So again, we're going to go ahead, cross out left over right, small section cross right over left. And we'll continue in this motion until we reach the bottom and secure it with an elastic. From here, we're going to go ahead and grab one of our elastics. We're going to secure it on the end. And you'll notice I've already have that draping right to the left side where it's going to live. We'll go ahead and secure that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up my molding clay here again a small amount right on the back of my thumbnail. We're going to work that right into my fingertips here. And I'm going to begin to use that braid, holding it still with my left hand and pulling it out with my right. So we're working that open to open up the braid a bit and just pulling that right out. We'll come in here and do the left side as well. Just small little tugs and small little pieces, just creating that open look and it also makes the hair look like it's bigger than it started out. So there's the second braid. Now we're going to go ahead and come in my net with my next section. And we're going to be working it in the same direction we worked the last braid. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay it right where I want it to lay. You'll notice that it blends right in with the last section. I have my molding clay on my hands so they're nice and tacky. I'm going to come in right next to it, again wanting to leave that nice texture in the hair. We'll go ahead and we'll separate that out and here we'll be creating our next fishtail. 
We're going to pick up a small section on the right side of the braid, cross over the top, and now it joins my left side. Picking up from the left, joining over and crossing over to my right side. Small piece of hair on my right side. And crossing right over to my left. The tension is fairly loose here again as we did before so that we don't disturb the texture in the hair. Allie's hair is very, very fine so it really allows me to work well with it. And we'll just continue right down to the bottom until we reach the end and secure it with an elastic. So as you can see, I've completed my last braid here. I'm going to go ahead and secure that with an elastic. We're going to pick up our molding clay and we'll be stretching that braid out just as we did before in the previous. So I'll be grabbing my molding clay, again right on the back of that thumb. That guar has a fantastic hold, really like spreads really nice and easy and melts into my fingers with the basu oil. And then we're going to go ahead and just hold the braid, pull it out just a bit on the ends again just to really separate it. Really separate that side. And it's completed here. My final braid is going to be right across the front where we're going to create a look of a fringe. So we're going to use a fishtail, but we're going to work with a French braiding style technique. So we'll begin here at the very top, right at the part line. And as I would pick up for a fishtail, I'm going to go ahead and separate it right into two pieces. Now where I'm picking up from is going to be from the remainder hair that's hanging here. So we will pick up from the section in the back, a small section. I'm going to go ahead and cross it right over to my left. Here I'm going to pick up from my left side. Again, I'm using the remainder of the hair that's hanging. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cross it over the middle. And now it becomes part of my right side section. Again, I'm going to pick up hair right from behind. Cross it over the middle and now it becomes part of my left side. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a section up underneath here from the remainder. Now it becomes part of my right side. So essentially we're always working with two sections of hair in my hand, but I'm just adding to them. So I'm picking up from the right, crossing over my left, and it becomes part of my left side section. Picking up from the left here, crossing over the middle, and it becomes part of my right side. And we'll continue this all the way to the end until I've used all the remainder, remaining hair. You can see here that I've completed the French style uh, fishtail up until I've used all the remaining hair. And now all I need to do is continue with the braid. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up on my left side. It's going to transfer over to my right side. I'm going to pick up a small amount of hair on the outside of the right section and it's going to cross over to my left. And I'm going to go ahead and continue that all the way down. So left side, small piece cross transfers over. Right side, small piece transfers over to the left. And we'll go ahead and continue that right down to the end and secure it with an elastic. As you can see, we've completed our final braid. So I have secured it with an elastic. We're going to pick up some molding clay and we're going to go ahead and piece that out. So we'll come here in the front, we're going to start our detailing. Again, we'll work that molding clay right into my fingertips. I'm really enjoying how that gives me that nice tacky feel so it doesn't slip through my hands. We're going to go ahead and start pulling just the right, the front side of this braid out along the front fringe here. So you can see I get a really nice front fringe. Then I'll come in the back and we'll go ahead and we'll start piecing out our braid a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start assembling it. So my first step here is I want to make sure I set my braids. So I'm going to go ahead in with my Awaken Thickening Spray here. And we're going to actually do the exact opposite and we're going to kind of push 
the fibers with the saw palmetto fibers. I'm going to push that right up into the hair strand so that I continue to create more and more texture. So I'm spraying right up into it to allow those fibers to really get inside the braids. Now to assemble here, I'm going to begin with my front braid. I'm going to toss it underneath and then over the two remaining braids on the back. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to go ahead and wrap this braid. We'll actually secure this with a pin so that I have it in place where I need it, right here in the center. And just push to secure that in place. I'm going to come in and wrap this braid right underneath and around so you can see that I've come right up underneath. We'll go ahead and we'll place one pin for now and then we can secure that down later. I'll go ahead and secure in the end of the braid here, right underneath. So I've wrapped that braid around. Now the other two braids in front are actually going to come back around the opposite direction and we'll start tucking them right underneath here. to lay out at the bottom. We'll secure them into place. And now I have two options here how we're going to finish this. And a fun little trick that we're going to add is I want to go ahead and snip out the rubber band right here in the center. So I'm very carefully going to come in and snip that rubber band so that I allow the braid to come free a bit. Now the reason I did that is if I had taken the braid and worked it loosely without the original ponytail, the braid would lay too loose and too flat and I wouldn't have any control over it. So now what I can do for one finish is I can come in here and just place the braid to the side, take one bobby pin and secure it right in place. So now it can lay right across her shoulder for one beautiful finish. For my second option, I can come right back into my fishtail. I can take right across my hand. I'm going to pull it up over the top. We're going to secure a simple knot here. I want to tie it really, really loosely. You can see it becomes right part of that whole entire style. I'll take my tail and tuck it underneath and we'll secure with our pins. One last pin here and I've completed our second look. We're going to come back in with our Awaken finishing spray and finish the style. Again, I want to spray up into the look so that I get great texture. And then I will finish with just a couple of small puffs of Basu Shine Spray for a finished look. And there you have it, the Indie Braid.